things won't always go smoothly in your civil engineering career. They didn't for this week's Engineering Management Lessons video guest, Bonnie Moss. Bonnie's the president of MB Co Engineering. And Bonnie ran into a big challenge in her career, one that she didn't expect. However, that challenge made her the engineer that she is today and it helped her to found and grow a civil engineering company. So Bonnie, when you look back on your career, what is that one challenge, that one turning point that turned around everything for you? There's one thing that really stands out vividly to me, and I, I don't think I'll ever forget it. It's bigger than probably starting this company, was when I got laid off from a company and it happens, but I had to think about, you know, did I do the best job that I could have done while I was there? Was I a C player? Well, there were some other people that didn't get laid off. Well, maybe they were A players and I was a C player. And so that weighed on me pretty heavily. And I got to thinking pretty heavy about, you know, well, what is it that you're going to do that's going to make you a differentiator the next time? Well, that will never happen again. And when it came down to it, when I thought about it, it was as well, you know, you probably need to learn how to do business development. If you are a generator of, of income for that company, as well as an engineer, whatever, they, that probably would not have happened. Um, so in the next phase of my career, I focused heavily on that and it was definitely um, a game changer for me. Wow, that's great. So basically, in getting laid off, it really caused you to do some kind of reflection on your own skill sets and yeah. identify where some of your weaknesses were, and not only where some of your weaknesses were, but some uh, identify some areas where you could provide really provide value to the companies that you worked for in business development. Obviously, if you could bring in business, you become very, very valuable to a company. And that sounds like that really not only changed the course of your career in terms of you know, working for companies, but now as the owner of a civil engineering company, those skills I'm assuming are have been critical to you being able to grow the company. That's correct. Yeah. Just learning how to speak to clients and being able to make cold calls and just go out there and, and hustle, you know, that's basically it. And it's helped. Yes, it has helped a lot. So. No, it's great. And it comes at a great time because we've had a lot of people that unfortunately have gotten laid off in the last few years with everything that's gone on here with this pandemic and, you know, knowing that there come, can something positive can come out of that. Like Bonnie just shared with her story is it's an opportunity for you to reflect. It's an opportunity for you to kind of hit the reset button in your career, maybe either do something a little different or build up a little different skill and taking that kind of reflection can change the course of your career forever. It sounds like it did for Bonnie and it sounds like it can for you too. So, Bonnie Moss, president of MB Co-Engineering. Thank you so much for a couple of minutes here. Thank you, Anthony.